Okay, happy hump day. It's September 16, and we're going to do a real quick live stream. Actually, maybe a little bit longer live stream because we're trying something different. We've got the webcam connected to the phone, and we wanted to see if we can uh, answer the mail with this fish stringer that we used the other day with kayak fishing, specifically uh, with the safety pins and this tennis ball uh, jacket or correction tennis ball fish stringer that we're using. So here are these safety pins right here. And what I want to do is pretty much shift over to a pre-recorded video, but I'll be monitoring the, uh, the live stream while we're doing this. So uh, please bear with me. I'm going to mute first. Hi, I'm Glenn, City Valley Fisher Field Team, COA of Field Team, and well, this evening, well, let's just go and circle back on one of our older videos where yours truly was forgetting his stringers, fish stringers, as well as, oh, losing fish, trying to put them into the kayak. And so way back when we posted a video, we called it the kayak fishing tennis ball stringer. We use it for kayak fishing. And you see a lot of times we'll be out there in kayaks using various stringers and eventually you start seeing us, well myself in particular, using the tennis ball stringer. And so let's just bring that out here real quick. Real simple, right here. Tennis ball with a little paracord mixed in with it, tied through. And oops, this was one where we shortened it. And then we've got a little uh, clip so that we can click click it onto or clip it onto the kayak and all we do is just leave it behind us and we're ready to start using it we'll just throw it into the water behind us and let it float and previously we were using shower clips right here and we were using a little little rubber tubing here to lock it in place for those bigger fish, for like little, you know, eater size catfish, no problem, a five pounder or bigger, we will do the little clip here with the little uh, rubber tubing thing over the shower clip where they clipped in place and that would hold it pretty good. But we found that, <coughs> we found that a lot of times we're having a hard time getting the shower clip through the skin and the mouth of the catfish. And then uh, luckily one of the viewers, uh, on our YouTube channel, this one, this YouTube channel, suggested using safety pins. So this last time we went jug lining, uh, used it for the first time and definitely like it. We still use the shower clip now, but we kind of hang it right over here on our kayak or on our kayak fishing jacket. And then all we do at this point is whenever we have one, pull one out and it's sharp enough to, to get it right through the catfish's mouth, close it up, put it right on the stringer, right here. And what will happen, and you'll see it in the videos, we'll have the tennis ball in the water, we'll have this clip to the kayak, and we'll just bring the line over, hook this onto the, the catfish, keeping it inside the kayak itself. So if it does drop, it falls right into the kayak. And then we'll just put that baby on there, the line, or stringer line, a paracord piece, put it right on there, and it just kind of hangs at that point, and we'll just let it go. And so far, uh, we'll probably uh, use this for most of the catfish we catch. If we do get a big one, like that boozer that we got the other day, we'll just bring it back to shore instead of trying to put it onto a line here. Uh, and then other than that, highly recommend this. So give it a try. Haven't lost any catfish since we used this method. Previously, we were trying to hook it there and then it would just kind of slip out of our hands and fall right into the water and oh by the way we would lose the catfish so ever since we started using this one where again you keep the tennis ball behind you floating in the water this uh, little clip tied to your kayak and all you're doing is pulling the lanyard or the paracord over you into the kayak put the catfish on the safety pin there right and then put the safety pin onto the paracord and let it go of course, you gotta close the safety pin first. Anyways, nice tip. Uh, shout out to the viewer who suggested this. We definitely like it. All right, so let us know if you wanna give it a try and it works for you. Uh, 
highly suggest this if you tend to be like myself, loose fingers, loose hands, losing a catfish coming over the side because we're trying to mess with it over here on the kayak. Instead, we're in the kayak and it drops into the kayak if we do have an oops. All right. Hope this helps a few of y'all. Maybe many of y'all. Anyways, let us know. Till next time, we'll catch y'all later and good luck and good fishing. All right, uh, welcome back to StockTroutFishing.com. I'd like to uh, bring up uh, uh, another kayak fishing stringer prototype. And we're going to call this one Prototype 2. And uh, what we're excited about this one, we were able to try Prototype 1. Had some real good success with that, other than yours truly having a little user error with um, uh, either uh, not clipping the uh, D clamp to the bracket on the John boat uh, like we should have. Um, as well as uh, losing hold of the uh, stringer itself uh, as it was slipping through uh, my hands and oh by the way it, went, it, it got away almost but luckily I was able to grab it. It did have a float on there so um, if it did uh, uh, it's float away we would have been able to catch it but that's not how we want to do that. Uh, so we did get a, a picture or a, an idea sent to us from one of our readers on um, using shower curtain clips. So it's basically this thing you get a set of 12 for just under a dollar or 97 cents at uh, our local Walmart and what's cool about it is, is they can unclip you can put the fish through there and still have them uh, on the uh, line and then you could put it on the stringer itself and um, uh, and you can continue fishing with ever, without ever having to detach the uh, stringer itself on the stringer um, it's made of uh, basically three uh, parts other than that uh, curtain or, or uh, shower curtain clip so total of four parts the the clip a kind of spring clamp or D clamp in this case we ran out of D clamps but we got this little clamp and we'll use that to secure to our kayak uh, paracord and this is uh, the color that we use to make some paracord um, things recent or uh, not too long ago and then uh, uh, what they suggested was just some kind of a stopper uh, to hold the, the uh, shower curtain clip uh, from coming off the line. And what we decided to do was uh, use a tennis ball. So uh, we ran the uh, paracord through the tennis ball, uh, tied it in place, so now we have a float as well. So if it does get away, we can chase it down and uh, grab it. And then we have the uh, rest of the uh, stringer. So this is... Uh, uh, kayak fishing stringer prototype 2 and how to use it so here you are you've got this connected to the kayak <clears throat> and let's say we're fighting a fish oh yeah no, no, he's on he's on uh, we get a hold of him there it is we'll clip it through its jaw like we normally do and then while it's unclipped we'll just grab the stringer in this case this will be secured to the kayak so it's not going to get away from us and we'll just slide through the clip paracord through the clip and let the fish slide the rest of the way and we'll continue fishing and there you go it's stuck it's not going to get off the this thought about maybe it twisting and all that um, but from what we heard from our uh, reader that uh, they've caught uh, some some good amount of stringer of fish without uh, ever losing one or taking off the uh, clipper and whatnot. So um, we're going to give this one a try next time we go out kayak fishing or um, maybe in the John boat. Uh, bottom line, we're going to try this uh, prototype two out. So uh, for those that want to give it a shot themselves, it's basically, again, those four parts, the uh, shower curtain clip, the paracord, and a tennis ball. And that's it. So. Um, do give it a try. Uh, as soon as we get a field test in, we'll get some video out and uh, hopefully uh, some of our readers and viewers will get a chance to maybe uh, try this, uh, this prototype too out uh, as well. All right, till next time, we'll catch you all here and good luck and good fishing. All righty, so uh, that is the tennis ball stringer, that prototype that we came out with. And then uh, we've got these safety pins now so shout out to that viewer who said try these we do like that and I think going forward we will be using those and uh, also from one of our uh, chats here 
Sounds like there's something called BFS. Looks like uh, some kind of, uh, I guess, ultralight means to go fishing. So we'll do so, some uh, Googling around and checking things out and maybe try uh, try the, um, finding out more on that. So uh, thanks for the uh, info on that. Definitely like catching big fish on light line. So um, that probably get us excited there as well. Also, uh, we're kind of playing around with this, this format. Uh, we went uh, fishing up to uh, Beaver's Bend the other day, and we were going to try doing one of these live streams. But unfortunately, with the service that I have, excuse me, with the service that I have, uh, don't have really good coverage up at Beaver's Bend. Uh, but that said, it's coming up here in the next few months, specifically November. Blue River is going to be stocked. We'll start doing that trout stocking season there, and that's up in Oklahoma, just about hour forty-five, hour and a half from. Uh, here in Allen, uh, north part of Dallas. So uh, we definitely like making our trips up there to the Blue River. So hopefully we'll get some video out there uh, for the time being. This week, got the day job to take care of, so can't be out there too much fishing. And in this case, we can at least give a few more learn to fish bar our trials and errors. In this case, we're liking this learn to fish. In this case, the, um, the safety pins. Also, uh, we are uh, working on that iFish News fishing podcast with the Little Red Book of Fly Fishing, where we're just going right through the book. And so far, we've gone through tips 1 through 16. And hopefully, here in the next few days, we'll get another one out there going through tips, the next four uh, tips, I think, uh, 17 through 18, 19, 20. All right, so all for now. And hopefully, oh, uh, thanks. on the, Keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Uh, and again... Uh, hopefully I can get some more information out there for those, especially since uh, this time of year, you know, we're starting to transition to fall. I think we've got a good opportunity for some, some cooler weather as well as some, some other fish to catch. All right, till next time, we'll catch y'all later. And thanks for stopping by. Good luck and good fishing.